Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we're going to be continuing our series on mythical founders, or I believe I called it legendary founders, and the second person we're going to be discussing is uh, someone you might be significantly surprised about, and that is Johnny Appleseed. Yes, first of all, many of you may be thinking, wait a minute, Johnny Appleseed was a real person? Yes, he was, though Appleseed is not his real name, as we will get to. The second thing you might think is, wait, Johnny Appleseed was a founder of the United States? Uh, yes, in many ways he was, which we will also get to. But starting off, Johnny Appleseed's real name was John Chapman, because Appleseed is just too convenient a name for a guy who plants apple trees. Um, John Chapman was born at the same time that the First Continental Congress was going on, in 1774. Uh, and, and I know that seems a little bit late to be a founder, but when he turned 18 in, in 1792, George Washington was only in his first term as president. So we're still solidly in the founding. You know, they haven't, they haven't quite passed Hamilton's treasury uh, bills yet and all of that good stuff. So Appleseed, I'm sorry, at this point, John Chapman, uh, leaves home from Massachusetts, and Chapman was an itinerant preacher, which basically means... He would travel around from place to place preaching sermons. This, of course, is during the Second Great Awakening, or right at the beginning of the Second Great Awakening, where a bunch of new religions are popping up. And I'm going to put this at the bottom here, because the religion he believed in was called Swedenborgianism. I have to look at it, because I can't keep it memorized, because I can barely say it. Swedenborgianism. It was also known as the New Church. Now, what Chapman would preach for, in, for the New Church was that Jesus Christ was not, and I am condensing this a lot because this, is about a, this video is about a person, not about the religion, um, but basically the idea was that Jesus Christ was not the Son of God. He was actually God, and Jesus preached the tenets of being good. And everyday people like you or I, if we were good enough, we could also become God. Now, don't let this sour you to Johnny Appleseed if you are already committed to a certain religion and this does not fit with your ideals. This religion is not common today and it doesn't seem very surprising that it's not. And again, this was at a time during the Second Great Awakening where many new religions were popping up all over, especially in the North. Actually, in upstate New York had like about a dozen. For example, this is not long before, I mean, I guess it's about 30 years, 40 years, but it's not too long before Mormonism arrives in New York, for example. Um, so, Johnny, sorry, Johnny Appleseed, uh, at this point still John Chapman, is walking around preaching the word, and what he did to raise money is he would go to farmers, and farmers would hire him to plant orchards. Now, I know when we think Johnny Appleseed, we have... The idea in our heads that he's walking around the bag of seeds, just throwing them across the country, which is a nice idea, but that is part of the myth and legend that has grown. He didn't just throw apple seeds around. He would go to farms, and the farmers would, uh, they wouldn't even hire him. He would use part of their land. They'd let him use part of it, their land to plant orchards, and then he'd leave, and he'd come back every year to prune them and do upkeep on the orchards. And the farmer would sell the apples with the rest of their produce and give Chapman a cut of what they sold. And now, he did actually make a pretty sizable amount of money with this business. And But he, he as a traveling guy, he didn't want the luxuries of life. He famously walked around barefoot, is actually true. Um, he, he just apparently wanted to be more one with the earth. Uh, which clearly he was. Also, famously, he wore a, the legend has it, he wore a pot for a hat. And what I understand is this legend is true. He did wear a pot for a hat, and he'd walk around barefoot and take off his pot and cook him some meals, presumably of apples, and uh, eat it, and then I guess clean it out and wait for it to cool off and pop it back on, and go on with his merry day. So, Chapman would live until uh, the administration of, of James K. Polk, 
which means starting during the first or about the time of the second term of George Washington as president, from the first president through the tenth president, Johnny Appleseed walked around the Northeast in the starting in the Northwest Territory, but by the time he was done, all new states planting apples, uh, preaching also, uh, but planting apple trees. And it was his work that, first of all, made uh, planting apples, or, or made the apple an American food. You know, apples are, they're in Germany, and, you know, they're in parts of Asia, but we have the expression today, there's nothing more American than apple pie. And that's because apples are grown all over the nation. And that's because Johnny Appleseed went out there promoting the virtues of it. And promoting... There, there were other people, of course, who also es, uh, extolled the virtue of apple trees. But Johnny Appleseed hit the ground running and went out there and gave us apple trees. And he gave us the, the idea that the most American thing in the world is apple pie. And that's we owe a huge debt of gratitude to him for that. It was also his work in these territories that would later become states that helped attract people to these states. Of course, there was always a desire to go west and, and find your own little set of land. That's an inherently American virtue, um, or value, I should say. But Appleseed certainly contributed to it. He also talked about conservatism, and or conservation, I should say. I, I don't mean like conservative, like modern politics. I mean like like Teddy Roosevelt conserving the planet and, and making the best what you got. You have to take care of your environment if you want to uh, uh, reap the rewards of it. Uh, and, and that's just another contribution this man made. Now I'm going to close talking about Johnny Appleseed with the fact that they started calling him Johnny Appleseed while he was still alive. And he actually became kind of famous as the loony guy who wore a pot on his head and walked around the country barefoot planting apple trees. It is kind of crazy <laughs> that a guy did this. Uh, and it at a time where they didn't have YouTube or television or the internet or even radio, you know, to see this guy walking back into town for, you know, the... 30, 40th consecutive year, he comes back to town and everyone says, ah, ah it's Johnny Appleseed. Uh, he was, in a weird way, a mini celebrity. And then after he passed away, that the myth grew. Where, I, I said the name Johnny Appleseed and everyone knew the name. Whether or not you knew anything I discussed today about Johnny Appleseed, you heard the name Johnny Appleseed and you had an idea in your head of who he was and what he did. He's one of the most American Americans to exist, to the point where many of us don't know if he was real or not. But he certainly was real. His name was John Chapman. We know him as Johnny Appleseed. And we can thank him for nothing being more American than apple pie. So I'm going to end it there. Uh, tomorrow when you're having pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving, hopefully you can uh, think in your head, oh, thanks, Johnny Appleseed, even though pumpkins weren't his thing. I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a great holiday. I'm going to try and post a video tomorrow, but I'm going to Lake George and the internet is spotty, so I might not. Uh, if that's the case, I'll try and give you one on Saturday to make up for it. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you next time.